Be, be, what? Be, 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 hold on, please. What? You just told me that she wasn't around. I was mad at you. You were. <laughs> you were mad. What is what is what is going on here? Well, let's just say that's what happens when the woman you're pining over is in love with somebody else. What? That's preposterous. Oh, that I speak English. Hey, Oma, Oma, look, is there something going on here I need to know? Yeah, let me warn you. I'm tired of you harassing me. I'm tired of you badging in and out of this office. Whatever you think will happen between two of us will never happen. Get out your fixed call. Stay away from my office and stay out of my life. My name is Omelani Oluyinka Olubusayo. Um, I'm a filmmaker. Um, yeah, I'm a filmmaker. I make film. Okay, yeah. Uh, I grew up in Ibadan. Um, my family, my father is an actor, um, Chief Moses Omelani, alias Eguleti. So I'm the second to the last born with my mother. I'm from Ipolibia Muscles. I went to primary and secondary school in Ibadan. And um, part of my institution was in Ibadan. I went to the Polytechnic Ibadan. I read mass communication, then I came to Lagos. I studied history and international relations in uh, Lasso. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe no, but I think it's yes, because uh, it is, you know, when you grow up to see your family doing one certain thing, there's tendency for you to, there's like 90% tendency for you to, you know, to that uh, route. So that's why you see a child that is, is our father is a medical doctor. And uh, he grows up, he will say, what do you want to become? He will come, I want to become a medic. Although, it is not all my family members that are into, into this, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, that are into what I'm doing. But I think I, I, I do it more than any one of them. Some are accountants, some are ad administrator in companies. I've done white collar jobs really before I decided to. But I've always known that I want to be, I want to do what my father is doing. I've always, I actually, I was supposed to do theatre arts, but I didn't pass literature early. So I made up my mind to go for mass communication. And even when I was in mass communication, I always knew that this is what I wanted to do. So I came to Lagos State University to do history and international relations. I still know that um, my life is all about filmmaking. So everywhere I've ever worked in my life, when I'm talking, they know that this guy is just here for I'm just passing every time there because I only it's always whatever I do you will you can tell that this is what this guy wants to do. So I can say my father's uh, influence is part of the situation. So, see you know the most important thing about life is finding yourself in that zone in which you really you are comfortable you know, with, it's paying off. And even if it's not paying off really, you know, you fall in love with what you like doing. I know by the time you, you are falling in love with what you like, your passion, definitely your passion, your passion should be able to bring um, food to your table and all that. So as it is now, that's what I do. And that's what I used to pay my bills. Uh, that's not true. I want to make a film now. And in this industry that we are, I know of factors that charge 3 million, 2 million, 1.5, 1 million, 800,000. So are you telling me that an actor that collects such an amount of money will tell me it is producer that is enjoying? A producer will go and look for money, source for funds to produce this movie that you are not 100% sure whether you're going to make, your back, make back your money or you're not going to make, make it back. But an actor certainly will come to your location, you will lodge such an actor if it is two months, if it is one month, if it is three weeks, you lodge them in a good hotel 
you will feed them morning, afternoon, night. You will pay them. They will leave your location and still go to another location. So everybody is, everybody is just, everybody is enjoying it as far as I'm concerned. Though there are some that are still struggling, I am still struggling also. But I can't because of that say, it does, it, it's, it's at your own level, you just have to know, you know, life is in faces and men are in sizes. You should know, okay, this is where I belong right now. So how are you going to operate in such an area? Actors are charging. The, this industry is more than what you are thinking about. Maybe four or five. If they are not charging, you see them in a business class every day. You see them on Insta Instagram. They are not selling peanuts now. It is this business they are doing. So people are, are, are really, as long as their faces, it's what people want to see on, on the screen. So they collect their money. It's understanding. It's trying to understand them. Um, you know, this is how our industry is for you. you know, actors and producers. You, that's why, even as a producer, you have to know the kind of actor you want to. It is not every actor you will gel with, like I would say. There are some actors that you can't gel. Okay, there's a production I just finished, and one of the actors, somebody said, ah, you can't work with this guy, ah, this guy is... He said, ah, no, it will give you trouble. I said, why, what is the meaning of trouble? So on the very first meeting I had with the actors, they said, you will give me trouble. I started laughing, I don't mind them. And you know, by the time he finished discussing with me, I found out that it wasn't even that this guy is is what people think he is. It is because there are some things he's not going to take. He won't take it, so why are you dishing it out? So if I'd known what you would not take as a producer, I've already known it in my head, so the owner is on me to ask, am I cool with what you are not going to take? If it is what I feel, <laughs> me too, I won't take it, then be on your lane. Let me look for an actor that can, you know, that will both understand each other. So I feel, I don't think there's any problem working with any actor. It is you understanding one another. Yoruba, my number one actor, still my father. Number two in Yoruba, film industry. I think I've even mixed it up. I'll pick uh, Gabriela Folan as my number two in English. But well, back to Yoruba now. My father, Delio Dile, Toyama Kukota calls the two, both in Yoruba and uh, English. Toyama Ku, four, maybe I should continue, I'll remember them. I can't remember them. Okay, so uh, I feel there's nothing you do artificially that, that is not going to have a repercussion. Doing plastic surgery, you call it plastic night, it's not natural. So I feel one day it is going to have a repercussion. So if you know something is going to still tell on you later, why are you doing it? Somebody is going to take you for who you are. I don't think, because the truth is, as a man, if I found out that you actually, you know, went through plastic surgery, that is what makes your boob to be big. I won't come and meet you. Because I, I, now I know it's not natural, so what's the point? I can't take uh, pride in what I know is not natural. So while I don't think you should take pride in what is not natural. That's, that's my honest opinion. I want to have done, uh, last day just before I do was in the cinema. And uh, featuring uh, Daddy Jide Kusoko, Kusaka, Atisha Pibelo, Dadamo, Eddie Watson, Wigging. Myself and then um, results in part. Then there's a new one I just finished, uh, you know, producing. We will premiere in October. Um, Fit, featuring Frederick Lena, Define Kalu, Dimbo Ademoye, Uncle Timmy Adelego, and myself also, Moji Wana, and some other people. Okay, so I, when I started with stage, I've been active in stage production. I've done a series of stage production at Muson. I do Gorilla Theatre a lot. I do, you know, there's a particular hall in Surulay, um, Lighthouse, you know, hall. 
that um, so a gateway all that we I use for mostly some of my stage productions. So I've, I've always been doing production, but I started doing you know cinema and you know, screenplay, screen production uh, last three years, and I've acted in some other production that are not mine. So. There's no, it's, it's no brainer. If you are a stage actor, you be very go and check those that are very good. They are method actors. They are fast through stage. Most of them are fast through stage. I think it's good to have such knowledge before you, you know, transition to to the screen. Look at people like Odunla D, uh, Daddy Olu Jacob, Mommy, Joker Silva. Uh, they've all done stage, you know, at a point. And that's why any room you give them to Pizza Pitch now, they don't have any problem with it. An ability to be able to depict any character is as simple as that. Well, if that is his opinion, I think it's, it's entitled to his opinion. Uh, you, you should be trained, really. People go to school to be trained. You don't have to be under anybody's tutelage. You don't have to join any car course. If I've studied theatre at a school, I don't have to go and join any car course. I'm a professional already. If I've gone to study abroad and I've read filmmaking and you know, I've specialised maybe on acting, I don't, have, I don't have to join any. I don't have to go and meet one man that did not even go to school to study. With. No much. So, but if you know you didn't go to school, you don't have opportunity to, st to study abroad, and you feel okay, there's this man, there's this group that I feel they can teach me, I can get to know more about them. Yeah, fine, feel free, join them. So, but it's not, it's not that it's the final. Okay, so let's bring God into this matter. There are some things you do before you know God. There are some things you don't have to do after you've met God. So I'm a Christian and I don't joke with that value that says sex before marriage is a sin. So when I met my wife, we engaged, we caught, is it caught or courted now? We were into a relationship for three years. We are both Christians. So sex before marriage was a no no. So don't when you are in Christ, all things have passed away. So new thing. So I was treading a path of new thing, not the old me. But that that's from religion. Even morally, in the olden days now, if you get married, if your husband they will say Obanli, they will have to take palm wine and all that to your family just for them to be happy that oh this girl was proper you you as a man will be happy to announce to that I, I, I can't go into the details of, of how happy I was when I got married you'll be happy to to tell your in-law that hey, thank you you'll be happy you even be happy with the woman fine circumstances might have made some women to you know even like likewise men also but what I am saying is you can always redefine your relationship. That's it. That the phrase is not God. That the phrase has his own opinion. He has backed it all with the Bible as to his own knowledge. And I don't even have any problem with him. I don't have any problem with anybody not paying tithe. Tithe makes me conquer greed. That is my submission about it. If you can pay 10% to a God you don't see then you should be able to give someone you know one-on-one -on -one more than that. That's my submission. So I don't I don't have any problem with that the fridge. I don't have any problem with people that are not paying the tithes. My own problem is what I believe nobody can change it. That's all. And it is not a sin. It is not that when I pay my tithe I will go to Empire. So why am I fighting with it? So, Certainly a good move. But we, people should be able to challenge you. If you feel you are not comfortable with something, challenge the power now. Go to court. That's why we have court. Go, go, and, go and challenge it. You win, you lose. At least you, it is in the record that you challenge it. So I don't think there's any... There's, we're not running a military system as women now. So 
I think what we did is okay, as long as he has the money to... I don't know what they are doing. I don't know. Uh, Yoruba will say, to do about the law? They are killing you there. Come up, keep the shape. Come back home. Nobody will kill you for this country. Fine, things might be tight here. Things are not easy. It's not easy either there too. They don't. Nobody is picking money on the road. But if the situation there is becoming more tense, I think we should come home. Come back and re-strategize. And you can always go back. It's African country. Getting visa back shouldn't be an issue. But staying there and you are facing the. The, the trouble, I don't think, is the best thing. Come back home. But if you are comfortable there. You can't beat my sister and she'll stay in your... You can't even... What rubbish? No. Because a man that beats you and you keep waiting, that beats you up and you keep staying there, one day he will kill you. He will maim you. So, as long as there's no beating, there's no fighting, no physical fight, you have to endure now. Marriage is, is, is tough. Anybody that says marriage is not tough, marriage is tougher. No, 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 no. Like somebody will say once is allowed. One time is allowed. One time is allowed. I, you know, I'm not saying it's allowed. Like, okay, you can even take the excuse of, okay, one, uh, me mistakenly, it was a mistake. I will never do it again. Do you understand? Because let me tell you something. Marriage brings out the both the good and the bad side of each uh, of uh, the husband and the wife. So one time, mm -hmm, maybe it was the wife that mistakenly slaps the husband. She comes to her senses and she says, ah, it will never happen again. I'm thinking, mm -hmm, one time is allowed. But if by the time a man slaps you today, you don't, you know, call the man to order, you don't see a sign of being remorsed in the man, he's going to try it next time. He's going to try it over and over again. So. Beating is, is a no, 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 no to me. Uh, nobody will beat my daughter. Nobody will beat my sister. BBN is a good show. I'm praying that God should give me a kind of brain that will have that kind of concept that the whole world will be paid to watch. I don't have any problem with it. It's not Big Brother that should, bring, that should give us more. That's what people fail to understand. Big Brother is not an avenue for people to have morals. If you don't have morals from your house, you will misbehave anywhere you find yourself. There are a lot of people that have gone to Big Brother that they never misbehave. They went there, they came back sane. So anybody you see misbehaving in Big Brother is a, let me use the word, is a, he misbehaves outside. So it is not because he or she has found, you know, he's herself in Big Brother, that's why they are misbehaving. No, they have the tendency to be someone that doesn't have brain from their home. So it's just like an avenue for them to showcase that really I don't have brain. So I don't have any problem with Big Brother. Big Brother did not bring all of them together to be sleeping with each other or to be fighting or to be causing their families. Because they are adults so they can do whatever they like. You, you find yourself somewhere that I know you have about 30 cameras and you are opening your, your self up and down. Is it Big Brother's business? No. I know here that there are cameras here, so I should be able to comport myself to do certain things. So if you cannot comport yourself to that extent, eh, it's, not, it's, it's your problem really, it's not Big Brother's problem. I become more angry when I see them being unnecessarily showing their nakedness. It doesn't make sense. I really, you don't have to. You don't have to. And some intentionally just flip off and you'll be wondering why, what, what, are, what, what, what is it for? So that, that's it. But aside that, I don't have any problem with Big Brother. I really do not have any problem, even with that, I still do not have problem with Big Brother. I have problem with the people inside that think they can just do anything they like. It's not Big Brother. It's a good concept that everybody prays to. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Capital N. No. She can't even think about it because the Bible says train up your child in the way she should go so that when she grows up, she will not depart from it. So the onus is on me to do my homework, to train her in the way she should go so that when she grows up, she won't think about it. You are a Christian, marry a Christian. You are a Muslim, marry a Muslim. I don't have a problem with the... But Okay, this is my submission about it. If I'm a Christian and I marry a Muslim, I believe in joint prayer. So how do we pray in the morning? How do we pray? So if I'm doing, doing our own fasting, you know there are you know there are some there are some 
prayers that you both need. There are some things that happen, they'll say, okay, you people should... You are not on the same page, that's it, Sha. You, both of you are not on the same page. She's praying for you as a Muslim, you are praying for her as a Christian. But the truth is, the two shall become one. You should come together. You should call a name together. If it is Allah Akbar, let the two of you call the Allah Akbar together. There's a, I feel there's a force in it. It's, it's more potent. If it is Jesus Christ you want to call, the two of you should call Jesus Christ together. So my wife will not be doing that well. Why I'm carrying my wife? I don't. That's me. So right from my, you know, going into a relationship, I've never dated. The only Muslim I've ever dated that was not born naked and was secondary school. Okay, I said, my film is coming. It's titled Faith, Faith with question mark. Just watch out for it. In Bademoye, Frederick Leonard, Ifan Ikali, Mary Lazarus, myself, Ruth and Adelego, and the likes of others. I'm very sure you will enjoy the story. Be me, be. What? Be, be me, hold on, please. What? You just told me that she wasn't around. I was mad at you. You were. <laughs> you were mad. What is? What is? What is going on here? Well, let's just say that's what happens when the woman you're pining over is in love with somebody else. What? That's preposterous. Oh, that I speak English. Hey, Oma, Oma, look, is there something going on here I need to know? Please, let, me, to know. please let me warn you. I'm tired of you harassing me. I'm tired of you barging in and out of this office. Whatever you think will happen between two of us will never happen. Get into your fixed call and stay out of my life. <laughs>